Okay, in this part of the tutorial, part three, um, we'll just be looking at uh, adding the breakdowns and starting to refine the the timing um, and the animation itself. The only thing I've done with this since part two uh, is I've just refined the poses a little slight, uh, a little more. Um, so just uh, the pose, obviously on frame one, is the same as twenty-four. Um, just relax that a little more. And frame 12, I've just pushed that uh, leg in the air a little more and bent the spine back a little more as well. So just push those uh, poses a little more, just worked on them and tweaked them. Uh, got the balance again adjusted, um, as we did in the in the pose session. So, obviously right now, the way it's going between these frames is very linear. We've not got any weight or kind of... Um, Pardon the pun, kick in there. Uh, it's just all very flat, and um, the way this is going. And this is partly to do with the timing and the distance between the time. It's taken about half a second to get up to that kick, then half a second to get down, which is probably way too slow on that. It's a very slow kick. Um, it should be kind of half that time, if not a little more, uh, or a little less, sorry. Um, so we need to start working on that, and we need to think about the breakdowns as well. So let's start with the breakdowns. Uh, I can retime it afterwards. So let's grab the body again. We start roughly around halfway between this on frame six, just for neatness' sake, re uh, really more than anything else. I'm just going to create a S for a set key on this, and let's start thinking about what we want on this pose. Okay. So with this one, I want to start thinking about, and actually, there's quite a good reference on this. On this one, just start thinking about actually uh, before we kick forward, actually bringing the body in. So we're going on uh, the body outwards on this curve around here on our last frame. So we need to be tucking our body in and getting all the power to exert outwards. A contrasting pose on this. We also need to start bringing the leg back so it's got more of a snap into the final pose rather than just being a very linear movement. Get more of a curve and then out. So frame six. First thing I'm going to do again is start with the hips and just look at the balance. Now the balance is on this right now. The balance is okay on this. I'm just going to move it back a little bit on there. Only a tiny amount. Okay. So what we're tending to do on this, we tend to actually start bringing. Body in against this. How much? Kind of curving that body up a bit more. And I'm just going to lift the hips a tiny bit. So again, up on that a little quicker. And then there's a bit more on the kick on that. We're already at the full height of the hips. So we can kick out. And then I'm going to get the foot. It's going to bring this up and a bit closer to the body. Get the foot rotation just the same. Now let's just sort this knee out again. Bring this right up. Okay. So this could give more of a contrasting pose from this one to this one. Okay, so we're bending the body in to take out a bit more. We probably want to do that a bit further as well, exaggerate that. Um, but we're also bringing the leg in to snap out a bit more on that. Let's just look at this body again. Again, just looking at the hips. Maybe just bringing those in even more. I'm 
going to lift his hips forward. So again, I'm just going to move his hips back, which allows just to bring these feet a bit more back as well. Okay. And then we do need to start bringing the arms up. And like the body, I'm going to start clutching these in. So they started being a bit more clenched, or the body clenched a bit more inwards as well. Bring the shoulder in. Again, I quite like this pose on this one with the arms quite back so that they can snap out a bit more it's really in and not forgetting the shoulders here I need to lift those up quite a bit push those back Get the hands. Let's grab the hands here. Uh, because we already have our, our clenched hand from that. Um, no, in fact, actually, I won't copy that keyframe. Um, and this, I'll just I'll go in and manually do it. It's a bit quicker. So we come up and then out, up and then out. Okay. And bring that knee up even more. And his foot back even more, just to get more of that snap on that. Uh, again, you know, you can push, uh, you can um, have more time spent on this pose than I'm doing right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Just one thing I did notice on frame 12 that I hadn't done, uh, just to give this a bit more height as well, uh, what we can do is start rotating this and lifting it up on the toe. Um, so I want the foot to kind of swivel around on itself, but I don't want to rotate just on the foot itself because that's moving from the heel. I want to rotate this from the toe. So just with the foot controller, uh, we have a toe spin. So I'm just going to lift that up a little bit, or uh, spin that round a little bit. And I'm going to use my roll, my newly fixed roll, and just lift that up a little bit, which allows me a bit of room to grab these and just lift them up a little more and just push that the height of that a little more as well. Okay. Again, that's kind of what happened. So the foot's planted until the real last kick on that. Okay. So just looking at those three frames now. Let's play bless this quickly. So you're starting to get a bit more the weight in there it looks a bit more natural the way the body is weighting itself and coming out squashing out and stretching back as well down to a bit more to that but again the timing is quite flat on this the reason for this is so much time before this happens and before this happens as well uh, and what we also need to do is actually start thinking about anticipation on this uh, where the character is going to start reacting and thinking about this movement beforehand um, so I'm going to give this a bit more time by just moving this frame at frame 6. So I'm going to move on to frame 6 and just make sure I do have a keyframe for everything. Press S. Uh, and then I'm going to go into uh, Windows, Animation Editors and the Dope Sheet. Bring this over so you can see this just have my body selected or my character selected so this is a frame we want to move here 
So I can just grab around this frame and then to move these I just need to middle mouse drag. Uh, you also need to have the move tool selected I believe or the select tool selected and to be able to do this. So I'm just going to drag this frame in um, until these are a bit closer together so that's on frame 8 now. So the snap between this is much quicker from there. Okay. And then what I also want to do is start adding a bit of a hold frame on this. So I'm actually going to go in and right click over frame 1, copy and around frame 5 I'm just going to paste that back in. So now it holds that pose and then we start the kick. Okay. Let's move my dope sheet to one side. Again, let's just play blast this quickly. See, the snap on that is a bit better there. Time that even more. Okay. But because of the hold on there, we're starting to get a bit more um, of a dynamic motion. Might just actually with this go into this frame again. So this is our frame on frame 8. Grab this and let's just move this to frame 9. And again, that snap is a little quicker on this. And frame 5. The mouse drag. Move that one frame on as well. Okay. So, um, on this frame, what I'm actually going to do is a bit of anticipation. So, this is going up in the air on this, uh, this frame here. What I want to do is actually start bringing it, and it's also starting to twist a bit more round on itself this way. Okay, so we're moving a bit more to the forwards. So on uh, frame 6, I just want to give this a bit of a reverse or a bit of the opposite to this movement. So again, let's start from the hips. Just going to bring those down. So we're starting to get down with motion. Okay. I'm going to bring those even more down just to exaggerate that even more. Okay. This how we're sort of rotating around. You watch where the hips are rotating. Sort of rotating sideways, forwards facing on. We're also starting to push the body in a little bit. So let's just grab the hips. And try to start moving them. Kind of in the opposite direction. So he's starting to push his body. A bit more round before then he twists round, okay? A little bit of a twist just there to power that body round a bit more. We just need to look at the arms here because we just messed those up a little bit. Think about what they're doing. So the arms are going to come up. So again, what I'm going to do with these is sort of do the opposite. Just make the arms come a bit further down and in. Maybe just kind of bend those up. Oops. Bend those up a little bit as well. Again, just not forgetting the clavicle on this. Now this one's sort of uh, rotating inwards into the arm. So again, I just want to do a bit of the opposite on this. Start rotating it outwards a little bit. Push from the clavicle. Just give this a bit more weight in this. Just don't like the way that that's rotating. I'm 
again just kind of trying to tweak this I just want the head to come down a little bit on this and maybe just get a bit more brick down in the shoulders and the chest again just to kind of contrast it in uh, and it's just a case of going in just keep tweaking these poses um, and it's spending far too long on this for the tutorial but you can uh, kind of get the idea okay down and up now one thing I am uh, one other thing I'm going to do is just put a bit of a breath in here as well um, almost a reverse to this so here we're going down to kind of get our body ready for the weight of this what I want to do is before is uh, again just a little bit of anticipation almost like a little breath on this so I'm going to grab the frame frame one again just copy this to frame three uh, and this time I'm going to sort of do the reverse on this so before I was moving it down frame six this one I'm just going to move it up a little bit I'm just going to push it up so he's just lifting his toes just to really exaggerate this a little bit more what I want to do is really kind of push his chest head back a little bit as if it's just taking a breath like a just an inhalation of breath as well okay just a little bit okay uh, again it just bring his arms in on here so I'm just going to slightly just a slight bit of rotation on the arms and a slight bit of lift on the shoulders so it was almost a shrug on there okay so it goes up down and kick so looking at this down pose I'm just going to move this a little more back as well So again, let's just have a little play blast of this. Uh, I'm just going to switch off my nerves curves for a second. You can see this a little easier. Uh, not really looking at frames 12 to 24 right now. Just these initial frames on here. Okay. So we get a bit more weight on there now. And again, we could push that even more. Um, just push those, push those poses as you need to push them just to get that exaggeration on there uh, and just to get the contrast a little bit between those poses so it actually looks like when you're doing the anticipation you're really kind of pushing down um, into the pose pushing the body down before you lift up and extend it outwards okay so we'll leave that um, tutorial there